Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about network attacks. So what is an attack? A set of malicious activities to disrupt, deny, discredit or destroy information and service resident in the computer networks. Now, <laughs> you can see the mapping between different uh, OSI layers and uh, uh, attacks can be uh, taken place in the corresponding layers so if we start from the physical layer because physical layer is the uh, layer which is totally open to the public okay so <clears throat> there can have inadequate power that means somebody can uh, just uh, no, do a power cut for you or uh, just uh, they can cannot supply the, the interrupt the power supply okay Unfettered access, open one wall port. So anybody, if you have an open wall port, which have bad, which that does not have any security configuration, anybody can enter their, uh, you know, device to this port and can do anything to your network and plots. Then comes uh, data link layer. In data link layer, ARP snooping, MAC flooding, scanning tree attack, or spanning tree attacks can happen. Then network or transport layer, unauthorized access, endpoint identity theft, and sync flood can happen. In session and presentation layer, you may find uh, some personal information theft, ARP, PC, and NetBIOS attacks. And in uh, application layer, worms and viruses are you know can found as an attack. Now here you can see in a uh, little bit detail. Uh, with uh, you know OSI model uh, layers and their task, security threats and solution. So application uh, layer, if you look at, uh, it uh, gives you you know supply service to application uh, procedures like DNS, Telnet, FTP, etc. So security threat here, you will find that uh, static password, <coughs> SNMP, private uh, community stream. And solution is having antivirus, software OS, handling, and patching. In presentation layer, presentation layer, the tasks are mainly ensure data that uh, ensure data that arrives from the network can be used by application. Okay, mainly encryption. So security threats are here, virus and worms, and solution are intrusion detection and auditing. In the session layer, if you look here, to the task of session layer is establish and maintain and manage session between application, okay, a remote process call and netbias. Mm, here you will find the security threats are personal information retrieval, uh, root privilege access, net uh, bios and uh, DOS. Solution or patches encryption and authentication. And transport layer. We will find uh, basically the task of the transport layer are segment and reassemble data into data stream. So main very popular two protocols uh, represent here are TCP and UDP. Security threats are uh, protecting endpoint identity and uh, solution is just protecting the endpoint identity. Okay. And in uh, network layer, you will find the and the function of a network layer is the best way to move data from point to point, point A to point B through router. As the security threats are preventing authorized access to the internal system. And solution is VPNs, network-based intrusion detection, and content filtering. Data link layer, the tasks are uh, error notification, network topology and flow control security threats there are ARP spoofing mac flooding spanning tree attacks and solutions are private vlan and static ARP entries and http root priority in the physical layer the tasks are where signals taps and uh, you know repeaters all these things are uh, basically belongs to the physical layer and security th th threat shares are inadequate inadequate power supply, unfettered access, uh, and often all ports, etc. 
and solution can be manage the power of UPS using UPS and restrict access, shut down and offer, uh, shut down the open wall port. Now, what is probe? Probes are scanning computer network to gather information or find known vulnerabilities. There is many kind of uh, probes basically. There is uh, one thing called IP shift or port sweep. So what it, uh, it does, it determines that the running host in the service and its service type. That means uh, on which port, uh, which host is running and what service are basically active uh, on these ports. Okay, and there is a, a tool also called Nmap, which can uh, you know scan the network for IP address. It can do port scan, firewall scan, and OS fingerprinting. And then uh, there is M scan, another thing. Uh, it can come complete range of it has the, it can it can you know discover the complete range of IP addresses in a network. Then another tool called Saint or S A I N T. It can uh, track your finger, that means what you're typing. Then your FTP, FTP packets it can capture. Uh, Telnet, TFTP, NIS, NFS, uh, RAXD, uh, State, and some other services. And finally, there is a SATAN, S T A N, another uh, tool using which the same kind of things can be done. Next is uh, privilege exclusion attack. There is two kind of privilege exclusion attack. One is vertical privilege exclusion. Another is horizontal privilege exclusion. So what happens in vertical privilege exclusion? In vertical privilege exclusion, the attacker first you know, gain the privilege of some low-level user. Okay, then he try to gain access of the root user. So they, they are the attacker is trying to you know uh, gain the access vertically that means higher level uh, access and horizontally basically um, the attacker gains some users uh, identity uh, users uh, you know the uh, credentials and then they try to get access to the other users uh, you know who are in the same level of privilege other users credentials that is what is horizontal privilege escalation. Now there is what can happen due to that. There can be buffer overflow attack, misconfiguration attack, then race condition, man in the middle attacks can happen. <clears throat> Here are uh, some of the uh, uh, you know security uh, or threats. You know social media phishing is one malware. Zero day and bo botnets are uh, another uh, uh, thing. Then password and uh, configuration and threat. Then uh, distributed denial of service attack. Then sm smart and mobile hacking. You will find uh, you know nowadays it is quite popular. And uh, SQL injection, okay, for uh, database servers. The types of malware uh, you know nowadays you will find uh, this term quite popular and bug is one uh, kind of uh, malware then comes away worms then virus then boats then trojan horses then ransomware then adware then spyware so basically all of them are basically malicious uh, small softwares piece of code Based on their uh, you know, nature, these names are given. Um, if it is uh, say warm, basically it can travel itself uh, from you know one system to another system over the network. If it is a virus, it uh, you know replicates itself in a single system. Basically, virus does not uh, move itself over the network to other system. Boats are uh, you know kind of automated. Uh, um, things who which uh, does some automated task and can uh, you know uh, fire some DOS attack. Okay, and Trojan horse, you know, it is uh, due to the um, nature how this uh, virus comes into your system based on that uh, technique, uh, you know, based on that uh, process. It, the name is given Trojan, and then ransomware is quite popular. You have heard a few days back. It, 
became very popular okay and then add where this is kind of uh, an malicious uh, code it can come into your uh, system and unnecessarily add will be popped up then spyware this kind of thing you <coughs> know uh, piece of small code will if uh, comes on your system it can spy your system what you are doing what are um, you are typing what you are you know so what sites you are uh, visiting all these things then example of uh, dos and distributed uh, dos are uh, like uh, tcp sync flood uh, flood then icmp udp flood attack then ping of death then smurf all these things are uh, you know different example of dos and distributed dos thing. then example of uh, well known worm attacks are uh, one of these is bluster that came in uh, 2003 and happened on to windows 2000 operating system then nasi is uh, another uh, which was you know <coughs> targeted many atm machines okay in 2003 then uh, slammer it is also in january 2003 infected 7000 victims in just uh, victims means that 75000 uh, you know systems in just in 10 minutes then uh, routing attacks comes then uh, basically it is based on the um, routing uh, the, uh, no, how packets are traveling over the network based on that okay then open source path protocol, path protocol then uh, border gate protocol and you know, all these things uh, are you know getting uh, affected now digital forensic tools for cyber security you can find here some of them uh, auto spy uh, magnet uh, ram capture uh, in case um, paladin then wireshark cane so all these are a few softwares which you can use to do some uh, digital forensic okay here are 10, 10 steps to cyber security okay so like uh, you, sh ha you should have knowledge of network security you should have uh, uh, some malware protection prevention then you should monitor your network you know incident management then managing the user privilege okay mm, then uh, remove media controls uh, secure configuration of network home and mobile network and user education and awareness are the very important things so thank you for watching.